In this video, we'll take a look at the automated modeling feature. This is a curious little feature that connects faces with a shape it generates. It isn't the same as generative design because it's a bit easier to use and doesn't take as long to generate results. It also doesn't have all the loads and stresses calculations that generative design does. Anyhow, I downloaded these glasses from the Fusion Gallery and I deleted the bar on this side so that I could show you how this feature works. Another thing I had to do was I had to draw a solid on this piece because automated modeling does not work on bodies made in the form workspace. It only works on solids. So what I want to do is generate a shape that will go from here to here. Click on Automated Modeling. Faces to Connect is selected, so I'll click here. And here. I don't have any bodies to avoid in this example. And I want a new body, although I could make a new component. And now I'll click Generate Shapes. This came up right away. It's generating different alternatives for me. Here are all the shapes it generated. If I click on each one, I'll get a preview. I'm going to choose this one. Click OK and it generates a form body. It's not a solid, it's a form. If I want to change my mind on this, I'll go to the timeline to automated modeling, right click, choose edit feature, and all the choices will come up again. Those alternatives are available for 14 days. Let's look at an example now of where we would want to avoid a body. Say that I have these three cylinders and I want to design something that will bypass the middle one and connect these two. So I'll click on Automate faces to connect this and this, bodies to avoid this, and generate shapes. This would be useful for an assembly where you have a lot of hardware. Maybe you want to avoid designing something that will run into a screw or a bolt. Well, these are interesting. A furniture designer might find this useful. I can choose that, or that, or that. Looks like I've got some interesting organic looking choices. I think I'll choose this and click OK. Delete that. And here's what I have. I'm going to delete that plane also. This is a fully editable form model. That is, I can click on it, right click, edit feature, and then I have all these options to modify it. And there you have it.